Now next question is calculate the mass of a non-volatile solute whose molar mass is 40 grams per mole which should be dissolved in 114 grams of octane to reduce its vapor pressure to 80%. So in this case they are clearly giving you that you are given with certain values and all that you have to find out is mass from it. Okay and since vapor pressure is given obviously the formula used is going to be relative lowering of vapor pressure. So let's get some values that is given to you in the question. But before that, when you have your formula, you have A and B. Now A and B have a specified term. So remember that when you have component, component A, that's going to be a solvent. And component B is going to be a solute. Alright, now in this case it is given as molar mass of solute and solute is represented as B. So I will write MB is equal to 40 gram per mole. Next, which should be dissolved in 114 grams of octane. This has to be the solvent which is WA is equal to 114 grams and which will reduce its vapor pressure to 80%. All right. Now, out of this, I will explain what this means. But before that, calculate the mass of a non-volatile solute. And solute is denoted as B. We need to calculate what is the mass of a non-volatile solute, which means WB is what we have to calculate. MB can be easily got because you know what is octane. You can calculate what is the molar mass of octane. All right. So, let's calculate that. So, molar mass of octane is nothing. But octane is what? you have your octane as C8. Alright. And it is CN H2N H2N plus 2 it is. Alright. So when 8 is given over here. So that's going to be 8 into 2 16 plus 2 18. C8 H18. Okay. So now you will get 8 12 into 8 plus 1 into 18. Alright, now when you simplify this, you will get 114 gram per mole, which is the molar mass of octane. So you got these values. Let's write down what the formula is. So it has to be relative lowering of vapor pressure. So PA0 minus PA divided by PA0 equals WB into MA by WA into MB. Okay, now all these values we have except for WB, that is what we have to calculate. Then we have here pressures, PA0 and PA. Out of this, it is only given as 80%. So write down, we can write down over here that vapor pressure <coughs> Pure octane. Since it says 80% there, we will take pure octane as 100%. This is going to be the PA0 value. Then, vapor pressure of solution. That is after you make a solution, then the vapor pressure will reduce to 80%. So, that is going to be the PA value. So now you know all these values, all that we have to do is to substitute it back into the equation. Alright, so here we can write the PA0 is going to be 100 minus PA is 80 divided by PA0 which is equal to WB into MA is going to be 114 by WA is going to be again 114 into MB is going to be 40. 114, 114 will get cancelled. Here you have 20 divided by 100 into X by 40. Alright, now here <coughs> in this case you will get Alright, so 0 and 0 will get cancelled. Now when you cross multiply them you will get here you are going to get 80 which is equal to 10x. Now x is equal to 80 by 10 and this is going to be 8 grams.